Hey everyone, I'm Clue. We're going to be starting a new series, Minecraft Dungeons. So I've actually had this since release, but have never gone around to actually trying it. Uh, I felt like a point and click adventure RPG type thing, but I don't really have time for like PoE or <laughs> the cod or iteration of the current Diablo. So I thought uh, this seems like a nice casual sort of adventure game. I did grab all the DLCs, I noticed there's like six. So that's going to be interesting to check out. And we'll just start, I guess. From everything I've seen, this just looks like a, a casual, stripped-down version of of Diablo, essentially. A lot simpler of an equipment system, but still some fun customization you can do. To be honest, I never really focus on any stories of a game. Uh, so click, we've got our inventory... Yeah, so weapon, ranged, it's so like one armor slot maybe, and then three potions. Find objectives, markers, nice blocky world, there is a map, oh, there's something over there, according to the map. I jump, you can roll. Okay. How many of them do I get? So rolls on cooldown. Uh, so looks like I can kind of make it. Just need to be able to get to the edge. Why'd it go that way? Let's try this one more time. I'm losing health, I see, each time. Okay, we have a potion. Potions on cooldown. So that's going to be real like, neat. You don't have to worry about too many consumables. Thank you. So what exactly is over here? A chest. Oh yeah, it's potions. Oh, well, they're temporary. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing to do with the house. So, not too great, I guess. We didn't get any items, no. Oh, we got some emeralds, which I'm going to assume are currency. Why... Why is the marker there? <laughs> Follow the navigation marker to reach your current objective. I'm going to assume that's something odd. And now I have to make it back. That's just great. Please put me on that side, please. Okay, so I need to, like, click. Oh. Here we go. Oh, what an awful start. Can you go in houses? Oh, let's find combat. So I'm guessing it's just, yeah, simple click. Wonder if you have to repeat clicks or if it auto attacks. No, I like. No, I can't zoom out or look around. We're just one shotting. We don't have to go pick up items. It's great. No, I wonder if there's a way to put like a mini map on screen. Uh, settings, keybinds, maybe. So what do we have? We have range attacks on right, left is interact or attack, items are 1 through 3, rook heal is E, root player, elytra dive. Interesting. Teleport, so that's to other party members, and then just chat features. Oh, map overlay tab. Cool. I do like having them up just so I can sort of clear everything. Uh, anything over there? No. Arrows, they want us to shoot something, the archer. Pretty easy, simple mechanics. I wonder if there's alternative ranged weapons. I assume there'll be a bow or a crossbow, but, you know, maybe like something to do with fireballs or magic. Maybe they'll just be main weapons. We've got 10 damage, which is pretty good. So we want to save and shoot things that are higher up. This way is sort of a dead end. It is a dead end. Surprise is not more sort of secret stuff. I mean, I, what am I saying? I found a chest straight away. Ooh. Is there like a combo attack mechanic? Because I noticed it was forward swing, back swing, and then stab. Or lunge. Supplies, what do we get? 
We get bread, regeneration, more arrows. We have a ton of arrows. I'm interested to see the boss fights, what exactly they plan to do. As well as like the enemy variety. There's something at the back here. Can you roll through fences? No, you can just go around fences, that works too. A bunch of diamonds. I can sort of navigate through, yeah. Anything else interesting? I can't get back. It looks like you can't go through fences. There is hidden paths. Uh, it'd be nice if there was a, like, foliage setting. So if you walk under a tree, it turns off. Oh yes, then the secrets wouldn't really be secrets. I should add stalls to normal Minecraft. So, like, waves, it looks like. So, range just seems OP at this point. Enchantment points. That is interesting. Uh, e is healing. The inventory is... Oh, I can click on it, yes. It's really far away. Uh, select a chance. You can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. It doesn't want to give me much of an option. Uh, attacking drains your life to grain buffs, it looks like. Or enemies have a higher chance of dropping emeralds. So that seems probably the best, but I'm guessing you want to save your points for better equipment, not just waste it on the common stuff. Is there anything over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Ooh. Is that just a special arrow, or what was that? Firework arrow into your quiver. Okay, so this is artifacts. So you can have three abilities. Okay, yeah, so they're tied to abilities. One, it's there till when so I use it, I guess. There's a chest, and we can roll this time, it's great. Better for the stealth for 10 seconds, it looks like. Gonna do extra damage, 80, yeah, definitely. And the progression system, like is there gonna be the normal style of, you can redo maps on a higher difficulty? Anything. Big map. Doesn't say there's anything over there, but I am curious. Guess not. Oh. Where it's sort of light here, I can actually walk over. Interesting. Oh, so opening the map turns off the overlay. That's a bit annoying. So it wants us to go that way. Kind of looks. Like a boss arena? You're a boss? No. Alright, we'll just see what the objective is. Victory! First level done, I guess. Villages, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Going to camp. So, hub area, we get, we get projectiles hit, so we missed one arrow. And in our chest... Uh, artifact, I'm assuming? Might be a weapon. New feature, we have rare types have been spawned in areas and could show up in any mission you've already completed. So, there's a reason to redo adventures. Three. Right, this is the seasonal stuff. It's just a weird thing to add, to be honest. Like, is there really a, a, a large number of people replaying this? And not just treating it like a action adventure game? <laughs> Curious. Storage chests. Cool. That's a very small amount of slots. Mission table. Stuff all around me. So I can just use M. Look at the map. What do we have? So I can go anywhere. Because I'm assuming this is the base game. And then each of these is DLC. So there's four, four there. 
And then two dimensions, that should be six, right? Who is locked? What's the point of these buttons if there's a tab up the top? That's interesting. I will probably just tackle it in order, I guess. Let's go through all the base missions first. I do want to explore the hub a bit more. Giant door here. Tower adventure. Start tower run. Tower changes every two weeks, I'm going to assume. It's a weird number to be 12, so we'll say two weeks. Okay, so there is a lot more to this than, than I'm realizing. I'm giving it a lot of love and support, it looks like. The training dummy. Looks like you can go inside this building. It's pigs. I think upstairs, there's more ways. This is pointless. I guess trophy room, maybe? We'll just jump into the next mission. I can explore around later. There's no tab overlay, so... I guess this is it. Let's go to... Uh, so the tower is that mission thing, so it's fine. Oh, there's... There's no hover over. So Adventure Hub is just home. I'm guessing the tick is the one we've done, so we're up to this one. There is a difficulty setting, so we can do up to three straight away. That's just a tutorial. I guess you complete it, and then you get to unlock the further difficulty. Yeah, so complete any mission on difficulty five. All right, so as long as I beat this one on three, I wonder if it's the same map, or if me doing a harder difficulty lets me do every map as a harder difficulty. We'll go to the max, because it doesn't seem like a, a too difficult of a game, to be honest. Even with no equipment. Nothing behind us. 80 arrows. Alright, there's definitely more enemies here. You can definitely just bait, it looks like. Well, we get enough of a delay that we can actually just just power through somewhat. That's what I'm trying to say. I do want to explore down here first, though. I want all the goodies. Getting over here. Just dead space. I always feel like stuff like that should always lead somewhere. Like, yeah, they're just making it look curvy. Is that the best way to put it? But in reality, it's just empty space and it's kind of pointless. Like, even if they made the, uh, the log that we walked over sort of just fall apart. The guys with the armor are an issue. Heal up. Cool. Not too bad. So you can stun lock one enemy, it looks like. There's probably weapons with sweep or something. That will let you, you know, take all... Take on groups properly. Apple's probably just healing, it's regeneration. Meet up around you. I wasn't paying too much attention to the hop up, but it kind of looked like on hit we got recharges to the health. We have branching paths, so we're meant to go that way. Of course, we'll explore this side first. And we get an urn. And there's something over there. Space. Ooh. Yeah, we can't go up. unlocking, unfortunately. We'll probably lean on the bow for a bit now. Oh, 
Interesting to find. Oh, God, yeah. How do I get up? If only you could duke skeletons in Minecraft like that. End of it. I can't stun lock. Still curious, animation wise, if I can sort of bait. I gotta say, he's kind of kind of kicking my ass. <laughs> There's a lot of damage, it looks like. This works out for me. But so now... I'm gonna run out of arrows, unfortunately. Hopefully we get an upgrade or something. Because if this is a mini-boss, I'm going to assume the real boss is gonna be more difficult than I... Imagine. Need to find some arrows. Wonder if there's a stationary button as well. So I can plant and then attack. That'd be really good for building up your little combo thing. The little stab does the best damage. So we did get some armor. Might as well chuck it on now. Health, weapon damage, and extra potions. I'm guessing this is... Oh, I was going to shoot my quick travel. But I guess not. The spider's arranged in this. It's interesting. I'm pretty sure I was going to fail there. Ranged first. Zombies. So we're going down. No arrows. Well, that's a bit of an ambush. And I wonder how many lives I get. That came in handy. The apple. Should be using my artifacts more. In fact, I should probably look at the fishing rod. Pull the closest mob and stun them. It's good. So one is a pull, two is essentially a free arrow. Well, that works. And of course. Little assistance going the right way. Strength. We need to find some enemy smash. Like that. Right, so we died. Two lives left. So it's not that punishing, it looks like. This group stuff is definitely going to be bad, though. damages me. Level ups are full heals, so that's definitely great to know. If you get a new weapon, 
is a lot more attack and a lot more armor. Oh, we one shot now. That completely changes this whole map, I guess. And it does look like our little combo attack is an AoE. Uh, can I get across? No, there's a cave there, so it loops around. We're very far off our objective. That did a lot of damage. You don't want to directly be caught in the web. Bad creature. I can just knock him off. Interesting. Need a better bow. That would really help out. If I could one shot things. Come on, pull off. Probably save arrows for any sort of type of boss. Should have probably aimed that a bit better. One seems like it does a lot of damage. Definitely need to heal soon. Ah, there we go. A new bow. And a lot of NT. I just went to waste. Let's save it for whatever this room coming up is, because it does not look good. Yep. Much as you do. Oh no. That's for sure. So, uh, souped up Enderman, is that what this is? And you don't want to go through the purple blocks. And he has thorns. Uh, that could be really bad. Yeah. Don't know how good this is gonna go. <laughs> Must be, is there like a unique way to damage him maybe? Him walking through that doesn't do anything. This slows me and gives me void. There must be a way to avoid attacks. Because right now I'm just base tanking. But you must be able to sort of hit and run. Died to thorns. It's unfortunate. He re he maintains his health, which is good. I guess we're just face taking. And then we'll just run around for a bit. is less than his arrows. Uh, Thorns is less than his main attack, so definitely shoot while we can. That was bad. Yeah. Damn it. I think this is it. So hard was definitely hard. Serves me right for making fun of the game. <laughs> I guess, take two. 